if you are a united fan then just be ready for more hurtful football for the rest of the season because if it wasn't for alejandro ganacho then if you look at the stats and then you see things like united had more possession united had more shots on target or other things like united had a better xg and you might think that oh maybe united played well but that's all a lie in this match we were horrible and we only won this game because everton were even worse than us everton had 23 shots against united 23 shots everton because let's be honest everton under sean dyche is famous for sitting deep but against united that to at old trafford they had more shots than us are you kidding me this season alone right united has had five games where they have conceded 20 or more shots at home because let's be honest away from home we always concede more than 20 goals 20 shots so we only won this game because because players like calvert lewin garner they all had chances even beto but they couldn't score because of our defenders dalo was consistent again varan played really, really well evans has again played really well onana seems to be finally settling in his role but it all comes down to attack again outside of the two penalties we did not create any chances even though everton was so vulnerable on the counter we did not create chances because our players cannot do simple build up they cannot do simple 5 yard passes how many times in this game did we see casemiro not pass properly or garnacho mess up in the final third bruno always seems to be trying risky balls so just that our players cannot play possession based football because they are not built for it if you look at any media they always say things like get ten hag out and the problems will be solved get managers like deserby potter even gareth southgate according to some reports and they believe that just a sacking ten hag will solve everything but that's a lie just look at our players casemiro cannot do position bruno cannot do position mctominay cannot do anything outside of scoring in the box rashford cannot do position we have so many players who cannot play position football yet they want to bring in managers like deserby like nagelsmann who want technically fast thinking players which we do not have no matter who we bring in right it will be the same story if we keep these players that's what i want to say if you have liked my video so far then i would really appreciate if you can click on the subscribe button below because it really helps me out and i would love to have you in my community and that's just not me saying it even ole in his overlap in interview said that when the times are going tough there are leaks and there's more pressure only on the managers that the owners do not protect the manager well enough and that's something which is happening again because just look at today's match right we have the brazilian veteran multiple times champions league winner casemiro who messed up so many simple passes so mean then we have mctominay who's another scottish international who goes every time he starts a game if you put him in as a uh, last 20 minutes sub he does fine but when you when you start him he does post in the midfield then again we have rashford who is again not not talking back then we have bruno who runs a lot runs around a lot but we all know that yes bruno has very impressive stats he is one of the players who has created the most chances right but we all know that that the current bruno is not performing up to his level so just imagine if a under performing bruno is making so many chances what would that inform bruno do he would be probably one of the best midfielders in the world so i am not saying that only the players are at fault even ten hag is at fault right he is making very simple mistakes right for example why is varan playing left center back why is evans playing right center back varan has played his whole career he has made his whole career being one of the best right center backs and now despite he having evans who is a natural left left footed player he is playing evans as a right center back which i just don't understand why it's a similar case with delo and lindlof delo can play on either sides right right back or left back but lindlof cannot play left back we have all seen it lindelof has played right back under uh, ole under ragnik sometimes during injuries so he can handle his own on right back but once again 
Ten Hag is refusing to swap them to make to play Delo left back and play Lindelof right back. Some of the other problems uh, management created is like how open our team is in midfield. Because as soon as we lose a position in opponent's half, it's so easy for opponents to overwhelm us. It's so easy for four of the opponent players to just run into our half, run into our D. Because the organization is really bad when we are on the ball. Like there is no counter plan for us losing the ball. And we have seen how many goals we have conceded from that. We couldn't, we didn't concede a goal today only because Onana was playing well and because Everton are re- really bad. That's it. If Everton had a decent finisher, we would have definitely lost the game. Definitely. Only focusing on manager is not going to do anything. We need a rebuild in the summer. Anyhow. And we should just wait till the summer because we there are no good other options for Ten Hag. I am still Ten Hagen. I believe Ten Hag can do a good job. Right? But if he gets sacked, right? Because he will lose matches, right? It, there's no chance we go on an unbeaten run till end of the season because we still have Liverpool to play twice, Arsenal to play, Chelsea... Brighton, I think even Newcastle. So we will lose. And if he gets sacked, then I think I would only support two managers. Either Nagelsmann or Hansi Flick. Other than that, I'm not interested in Tezerby or Potter. And definitely not Southgate. Not at all. For this game, my manner of the match is uh, Garnacho. Because Garnacho was not playing well for the last two weeks. Against Fulham, he wasn't good. Against City, he wasn't good. But today, he turned up. He was very direct. He had some intent. And he was confident. He was the only reason we won. Because if Garnacho wasn't playing, let's say we had Anthony or someone else, we wouldn't have created any more chances. We probably would have had just one or two shots. And Everton probably would have scored. Because Garnacho was also really well in tracking back and covering for Delo. So yeah, another mistake which I forgot to mention is how Ten Hag is insisting on Anthony. I know that Ten Hag believes in Anthony and he believes in the player he coached at Ajax. But we all can see that Anthony is just a, is just not that player anymore. Whether it's confidence, whether it's him not being able to adapt to the league. But Anthony is not providing anything. So I would much rather just put Anthony on the bench, not even bring him on and give someone else a chance. Whether it's Ahmed or anyone else. But just stop using Anthony for some time. Just let him sit. Let him recover. Let him get his confidence back. Because bringing him on like these is not helping him at all. Next week we have the game against uh, Liverpool for the FA Cup. And Liverpool are getting their, some of their players back from injury. Like Nunes and Salah. Maybe even I think Konate might be back. It's going to be a very, very difficult game. Because this season, it doesn't matter if United is playing at Old Trafford or away. We are shit anywhere we go. So, for this game, our only hope is that our defense holds strong. And that our players be a little more clinical. Because like usual, we won't have position definitely not against a team like Liverpool. We won't have many chances. And Liverpool will have a lot of chances. So, our defense will have to be on top. And more importantly than that, we will only have one or two chances. Because against defenders like Van Dijk and Konate, who specialize standing at the halfway line and recovering against fast attackers, Garnacho and Rashford won't have many chances. They will barely have one or two chances in the whole game. And they will need to score that. If we have the Rashford who played against City, who missed two very easy chances, then we will lose that Liverpool game. Our only hope of winning against Liverpool is to be very clinical. If we do not score one or or two of those chances, Liverpool will definitely score and win. So, let's see what happens. I'm hoping for a win, but I can't say anything. Now, if you would like to know what I said about Ten Hag and why I'm defending him so much, then check out this video right here. I explain in detail why there's this huge agenda against Ten Hag. And why sacking him won't solve any of our problems. Let me know what you think about this whole Ten Hag situation. And whether you think we'll win against Liverpool or not. And if you have watched the video so far, then I would really appreciate if you can click on the like 
and subscribe button below and i will see you again next week thank you for watching goodbye